Good morning, dear writer. Ready for a major reset? If you're new here, my name is Sarah. I'm an aspiring author fresh out of an identity crisis. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm currently working on a fantasy mystery novel entitled Project Snow and today I'll be resetting my writing goals, remaking plans and getting back on track. But before we do that, let me catch you up on a few things. If you're not new here, you'll know that in May I started drafting Project Snow, which I've been working on since January. You'll also know that I suddenly stopped and disappeared from the internet for around two months. The reason why is quite complex and I go deeper into it in a video coming out next week. But writing-wise, from the very first scenes I wasn't enjoying following my outline and while trying to fix this, I had an epiphany which I thought would only change the beginning of the novel but what ended up happening was the more I leaned into this new idea the more I realized I was writing a completely different story in a completely different genre and I was loving it. This and other things prompted a huge identity crisis that lasted until very recently and led me to question whether or not I still identify with the genre I'm trying to write. Big question, I know. My two months of reflection were marked by two major events. My birthday, which unfortunately only added fire to my identity crisis and self-doubt, and vacation, which allowed me to relax and to see things under a new light. In the end, I finally got an answer, which I'm going to share with you now. I'm pretty sure I'm writing book club fiction. If you don't know what book club fiction is, another word for it is upmarket. And from what I've gathered, a lot of opinions consider that the author is not to say whether what they're writing is book club or not. It should be the readers to have this power. But nowadays, agents include terms like book club and upmarket in their wish lists. So, of course, the author must know that's what they're writing, right? So, what does this mean? In the simplest terms, if commercial fiction and literary fiction had a baby, that would be upmarket or book club. Commercial fiction, also known as genre fiction, prioritizes the entertainment and satisfaction of the reader. Literary fiction prioritizes the craft of writing and deep exploration of theme. Book club fiction falls somewhere in between in that it often follows a strong plot, but the writing style is a big part of the pleasure of reading it. A lot of times, it does not follow through with the reader's expectations. When upmarket books are marketed within a genre, they often end up with bad reviews because they did not fulfill the reader's expectations. This is the danger of being mismarketed or put into a box that you don't belong in. Some upmarket novels you might know are Station Eleven, The Night Circus, Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore, The Storied Life of A.J. Fikri, The Snow Child, etc. So, two questions. Why do I think I'm writing a book club book? And is this all I'll be writing from here on? In this past year, I've noticed a shift in my reading taste in the stories I lean towards and the experience I have with different types of books. I fell head over heels for literary fiction and found it harder and harder to enjoy plot-driven books in which the writing doesn't stand out. Now, if you've watched this video, 
You will know that I've always considered myself to be a fantasy writer. At the moment, all of the story ideas that I'm interested in writing have an element of fantasy or magical realism. But the thing is, I don't think that all of them comply with the expectations of purely commercial fantasy. For a while, this really made me question myself and my writing, my ideas, and especially the story I was writing, the story I am writing. And this was part of what led me to my creative identity crisis. However, when I started compiling a list of works that share these same characteristics, I finally realized two things. First, that there's a place for my novel in the publishing industry, which... hoof. <laughs> and two, I have found a key piece of my author brand. So, to answer the second question, yes and no. Taking a look at the projects I have in store to write, I think it's very likely that my novels will be upmarket, my novellas literary fiction, and my middle grade works commercial fiction. My novels and novellas target a new adult slash adult audience, not because of explicit content, but because of the themes they explore and the way they are written. My middle grade fiction is, of course, for older children and teens, and might require me to separate the two brands. As a win for adults versus Sarah win for children, for example, I don't know. So, in the end, I decided to stick with the adult novel idea I've been working on since the beginning of the year, but my writing schedule was already destroyed and my New Year's resolutions had to be reset. So I sat down to sync up new realistic goals and here they are. To finish Project Snow in 2024. To complete and hopefully sell a few short stories until then. To figure out which adult novel I'll be starting next. How do I intend to do this? I'm giving myself one month to write the zero draft of Project Snow and then for every other draft I'm giving myself three months, a quarter of a year but those three months won't be back to back. I will take some breaks here and there to get feedback and just to take some time away from the story. So here's how my current plan differs from the one I had before. When I made the initial plan, the idea was to try and focus on only one project for the entire year. This clearly did not go well because when I was stuck in certain parts of the story, instead of allowing myself to relieve the tension with other creative projects, I was bottling everything up. In the end, you know what happened. This time, I won't be making the same mistake. I'm starting the new plan in August. You can see I give myself one month for the fast draft, and then I have one month to revise that draft. This is not gonna be a heavy revision, it's just that since the story is still fresh in my mind, I think I'll have a lot that I can jot down and brainstorm for a while. But after the zero draft, I'm gonna give myself two months away from the story, that's October and November. And that's because in the winter months I usually really like to work on middle grade stories, so that's what I'm gonna do, I think, that's the plan. And then in November I go back to this project and I do the first serious revision, I'll do that for one month, and then in January I start draft one. So you can see my plan is to draft for two months, this is 
one scene per day and about four pomodoros per scene so i think that's probably gonna be enough for draft one then i give myself one more month off and if i think the story is in a good enough state to give it to someone else to beta read or alpha read then i'll do that if not then in april i come back to the story with a normal revision but if I do give it to someone to read, then April will be me analyzing the feedback and revising the story based on that. So then two more months to write draft two and that's again one scene per day, four pomodoros per scene. And then one more month away from the story, come back in August to analyze the feedback and then in September and October write draft three. So after this, I'm not sure if the story is gonna be 100% ready because it's my first time writing this kind of story. And that's the main reason why I don't have an official plan for the rest of the process. So after this, I will either need another draft or I'll move on to final touches and again i don't know how long that will take and then i'll prepare the query material and query the story but again i don't know when that will happen in the end the completion of project snow has been pushed back about six months but i'll probably give myself the rest of 2024 to tweak whatever i feel like needs it because i don't think i'll be querying this novel until the year after we'll see things might change I'll also be sharing a writing routine very soon, but for now I wanted to let you know that I intend on writing both in the morning and in the evening. Mornings will be for my main projects, novels and novellas, but at the moment I'm only working on Project Snow, and evenings will be for short stories and flash fiction. Alright, we're ready! Thank you so much for being here, I hope you are motivated to continue on your writing journey. If you enjoyed this video and would like to support my channel, please consider liking and commenting, it really helps. Let me know what your current writing goals are and whether or not you have a plan to follow through with them. Alright, I'll see you soon. Bye!